Hello, beautiful people. In my last podcast, I spoke about how every moment counts and what we do in every moment will decide the life we live. Today, I want to talk about subscribing to the one and only you. How many subscriptions have you taken out thus far? Let's see. Gym, DSTV, Netflix, maybe some fitness program, something along the lines that make you happy like YouTube videos, motivational speakers, spiritual podcasts. Yeah, you get the picture. How many of you have subscribed to you as well? If I had to guess, not too many. Am I right? Yeah? Do you find that you are not inspiring yourself? And that could be the reason that you don't subscribe to you. Turning to others to motivate and inspire us is good because we learn from each interaction, right? But I find when we subscribe to ourselves and learn how to inspire ourselves, we will generate the momentum to push ourselves forward. It's all about that frequency that we send out into the world. Imagine if you don't want to be you. Imagine if you don't want to even hear your own voice. What kind of a life is that? Imagine if you walk through life wanting others to believe that you are someone else because you do not believe in yourself. What kind of life is that? We are all here to help each other, to build each other so that we can increase the happiness and the vibration of humanity as a whole and that ignites a frequency that the universe needs. But when you don't subscribe to yourself, you are drying out your own canister of beingness. Being you is beautiful when you get rid of all that is not serving you. We all have things that don't serve us because we create patterns along the way that helps us cope with life, with situations and scenarios that we do not at the time have the awareness of how to deal with it. And that is okay. There comes a time in your life when you say, I'm tired of this. And that's when you bring in the change. When you say, I want to be me and I don't care what others think about this. I'm not here to please people, to cover my own light. I'm here to shine it and I'm going to discover how to and that is a beautiful place to dance with life. But you cannot dance with life the way you should if you are subscribing to everyone else but yourself because you are the most important person in the equation of your life and the science of humanity. You will feel when the time is right because you will feel like you had enough of everything and now you want to discover the real you. You are tired of the charade and this is magnificent. You might not know how and that is when others with the wisdom and the knowledge will be drawn to you. That is a sign that it's wise to tap into it and if you don't that is okay and if you do that is the best decision you can make for yourself. So how do you know who is there to help you? You will feel it deep within your gut, just like when you are happy and just like when you feel danger. When you are happy, you know this is good for you. But when you are indulging in activities that are not good for you, you will know it. You will feel uncomfortable, nervous, maybe anxious. Our emotions are our greatest guiding system. We just haven't been given this information that is so crucial that can help us along the journey of our life. Start subscribing to you as well. In addition to every, everything else that you subscribe to, even if you don't feel like loving yourself, because those are just thoughts that you can get rid of. You might just need some help with that. Reach out to the people that can help you. Subscribe to them too. Choose your subscriptions wisely because the price is quite high. Thank you for listening to me and I hope that what was shared was helpful. Be blessed and enjoy your day. I'm wishing you a day full of creative thinking and great realizations. Stay tuned to my podcasts because the next one is all about embracing change and you don't want to miss this one. It's Danita Singh, your transformational life coach, signing out.